the idea for this project is due to the arrival of a new director at the Museo Poli Pezzoli in Milan, which is Alessandra Quarto. She wanted to shed new light on the collection, and one of the real masterpieces is um, Saint Nicholas of Tolentino by Piero della Francesca. And it's been a long time desire <laughs> on the part of the public and on the part of, of scholars to reunite this one panel with the other panels, paintings that survive of what was once a huge politic by one of the main masters of the Italian Renaissance, Piero della Francesca, um, which was a politic made for San Sepolcro, a small town in Tuscany, um, which was made an ominous 555 years ago <laughs> and has since been dispersed. Few panels remain, but they're very important, but shed really they're spread all over the world. So um, a couple are in the Frick Collection in New York, others are in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, in the National Gallery in London, and here we're standing next to St. Augustine, which comes from um, the Museo de Arte Antiga in Lisbon. So really spread all around the world. They're very fragile, very frail, so hardly ever travel. They are so fragile that you need to check in every single step of the movement what the condition is. We are talking about something very fragile, wooden, so temperature, humidity, shock. All things could, could happen during the transit. So every single step must controlled and managed by a proper commission. And, and I mean, there were challenges of the nature, I and mean, they're very important loans. So um, here, our St. Nicholas of Tolentino was already here, but behind me, St. John the Evangelist, which comes from New York, had to be flown, flown in, of course. And there are four panels that come from New York, and they do different airplanes in the same way that a royal family would. Uh, this panel um, had its um, was an armed transport <laughs> because it's a state treasure. So um, that kind of challenge. But then in addition, um, the idea of the museum was to make this not only in a, into a location in which those panels would be reunited, but also in a location um, to do further research. And that too had to happen within a very short uh, time span. My co-curator Nathaniel Silver and I have traveled to different places and also we looked at those panels and um, managed to do new research because one of the challenges is to, um, to understand what the politic originally looked like. So behind me, you see, you see this indication of what, what would have been the central panel that is now missing, this big mystery. And thanks also to technical research, we managed to unravel a bit more of that, um, of that mystery. And it's ongoing. So. Today, there is a, um, another study day in which uh, scholars and restorers from around the world will gather at the Museo Poli Pezzoli so to, to further um, the work. In an exhibition like this one, the facility report is really important. It's a document that is crucial to understand where we are, in which building we are, and the exhibition setting. Uh, it's particularly important for artworks like this one very old and that we need to take uh, special care of. For an artwork like this one, it would be really important to control some parameters like humidity, uh, like the temperature that we have in the room. Uh, so the facility record is really important in this case because you can find all these parameters and you can control it.